So Mojang just recently added the auto crafter into the game. If you put in items as the input, you get an output with a redstone signal. So instead of designing small machines like most YouTubers have, I designed a computer instead. So what this machine allows you to do is to first select an item from here. I'll select stairs and next to request a stack. So what this will do is request a stack of stair recipes to be crafted, giving me four stacks of output. So if I go ahead and fast forward by two minutes, I have my four stacks of stairs. So you may be wondering how this machine works. So the first thing is every recipe requires a three by three grid. So for example, if I disable these and then fill in the slots like this, this will give stairs as an output with the auto crafters. So if I extend this shape to other crafters, you can see that all of the crafters in here are selected when I select different inputs. How the machine determines what shape it needs to use is it pulls the output of the buttons up here and then it'll follow it back to here. So what you'll see here is this yellow line gets followed all the way over here and then this is the crafter line that gets used when I have the stair pattern. So then all of these colors map to nine different shapes which were showed in the previous clip. So the second part of crafting an item is which slots it needs to use to fill in the items. So like for example the stair, it uses six items but it's the order is important when it comes to certain items. So for example the fence and the fence gate. So, I, so the crafters need to be filled in a certain order. So I need for fences to fill it plank, stick, plank, plank, stick, plank. The ordering is very important. And then for the fence gates it needs to be backwards. So I need some way to be able to distinguish between the two. So again the signal gets passed up and this time what we care about is which shape it has selected and then this signal gets passed up into these lines. So this is where each of the shapes are. So if I focus on the stairs here, it gets passed up to the yellow. So what we care about is which slots we need and we need one, four, five, seven, eight, nine. So if I travel up here, which is a continuation of which uh, signal this is, you'll see that um, one is always on for every recipe, so that's why it's not here. So this is slot two and three, which are off. Four and five are on, six is off, seven, eight, and nine. So this shows that the correct slots for the stairs are selected. So now that we have the shape and the slots, the last thing we need is which items go in which slot. So in this white circuit here, there's six different options that the machine picks from. The first option is logs and the second is planks. So these two are what most of the items fall under because most recipes either require only planks or only logs. So like for example, the stairs have uh, option two selected because they only use planks. And then next we have fences, fence gates, signs, and hanging signs because each one of these requires its own encoding. So they get their very own um, selection here. So without going into the exact details of how this works. Basically, we have the concrete, which selects which slots to use. And then if you remember, the white circuit up here is brought with these torches upwards, and these help to select which items to use. So if you look here, you can see that the ones that are powered off are the ones that are used. So these are one, four, five, seven, eight, nine. And then if I look here, this is the plank level and I'm trying to send planks through to those slots. And that's why they got spit out in the way that they did in the previous clip. The best part about this computer is it's not limited to just the 12 items that I've shown here. These items are nice because they only use three ingredients, meaning that my dropper tower can be smaller than it would otherwise be if it was a much more general system. So if you remember that, I, like I explained earlier, each recipe has a shape, has the slots that it needs, and then it has different ingredients. So if you wanted to expand this machine to have many more items, you may need to add more crafters because you would need different shapes than the ones I have here. And you may also need to have more of this white wool system, which selects which items go in each slot. So then that would mean you have a few more of these redstone lines going up. And then this system would be a little more complex because you would need more of these sending which which ingredients are needed for each slot. 
And the last thing with this machine is this item choosing system isn't the best. It takes up a lot of space and it requires a lot of items to fill properly. So what would need to be done for this to be better and work for a more general sense is it would need to take items from like a larger storage system. It probably would work better with shulker boxes, but that means then your crafts take a lot more items. And that's how my automated crafting computer works. If you like this video, give it a like. And if this video can get 100 likes, I'll do a follow-up video where I organize this machine, color code it a little better, and I can also give a schematic and world download once 1.23 releases.